Do you think you might be pregnant with twins? Hi, I'm Ellen, for those of you who don't know, and I'm pregnant with identical twin boys. And if you think you might be in the same boat that I am in, you've had some suspicious signs that you might be having more than one baby. I'm gonna be sharing some of the symptoms that I had that really told me early on that I was pregnant with twins. It was a shock when I found out I was pregnant with twins. I didn't have what most people say is a sense. So that's the number one sign that I think a lot of people have is just this intuition. I really think I'm having twins. I didn't have that, but that is something that people say that, you know, women are just really smart. They're really in tune with their bodies, especially during pregnancy. So if you have some kind of a sense, that could be a sign. I didn't have that, but a lot of women do. So I'm gonna try to go through these pretty quickly. I have a lot of symptoms that I noticed and I, don't, I won't take too much time on all of them. Okay, but first was shortness of breath. When I would do any kind of activity, walking upstairs, walking, little things wearing me out, I would get really breathless pretty quickly. And I just wanna to say too, a lot of these are also symptoms of a singleton pregnancy. Um, I haven't been pregnant before with a singleton, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but what I'm assuming is the symptoms that I'm mentioning, they're just amplified when you're having twins. So shortness of breath that you might usually have with a singleton pregnancy, it was, I mean, I'm telling you, it was really dramatic and it was really noticeable. And all of the symptoms that I'm about to tell you were really, really noticeable. Next, my sense of taste changed dramatically. I wasn't able to stomach the same foods that I usually loved. The most indulgent, luscious, delicious foods that I would love, I didn't like anymore. And my whole sense of taste changed so dramatically. I was always a really savory person, never much on sweet stuff, and I went the complete opposite way, and I'm a total sweetie now. And that was a really, really big dramatic change. Okay, something I noticed uh, from the beginning was breast tenderness, and that was one of the very, very first symptoms I had that was very severe and it progressed through the first trimester and things you know grew in the first trimester and I thought I was done and then uh, had a second growth spurt that I have since heard is really common walking upstairs and any kind of movement taking a shower anything hurts because they're just really sensitive and um, achy so that was that was really extreme. So it wasn't just like a mild uh, discomfort, very, very extreme. Similar to the extremeness of the breast tenderness was the extremeness of my exhaustion. Um, in the first trimester, I said to my husband, you know, this baby, because I thought it was one, this baby is really small, but it's already made me feel so different. And I, it's because I was really tired. I would come home from work and collapse for hours and just be so tired, just so tired. <laughs> that hasn't gone away and it's actually just gotten worse, but the fatigue in the first trimester, it's very common for women to be tired, I know, in the first trimester, but I'm telling you the, the level of tired that I was makes a whole lot of sense now looking back because I was growing two babies. <laughs> Another thing was uh, early on in my pregnancy, I was so swollen. I really was carrying a lot of fluid and my wedding ring became really tight and it was amazing. I took my wedding ring off and for about two months after, I still had a little band around my finger where it had cut into my finger. So I just was retaining a lot of fluid. So I don't, I don't think that that's a really common symptom, but that happened to me early on, just <laughs> swollen. And I also started showing as early as nine weeks. I'm gonna put a picture here. I am not a skinny person. I've always been, you know, like a nicely built, thick, <laughs> 
I'm just like, I'm not a skinny person, but I don't carry my weight in my stomach ever. It always goes to my hips. And when it was starting to go to my stomach and I was getting real round in the midsection, I thought, huh, it's pretty early to be showing. Maybe I'm just, you know, gaining weight, but now I know some women who carry multiples can start showing as early as nine weeks and I did start showing as early as nine weeks. So I'm not gonna include morning sickness for me because I didn't have terrible morning sickness, but I know for a lot of people with twins, their morning sickness was really bad and that was kind of a way they knew. One of the biggest symptoms that I had was how early I tested. I'm, I'm looking at my little thing of tests right here and it's taking me a little bit too much brain power to remember the whole like <laughs> cycle day 22 what that means but pretty sure it just means I I took my first test a week early like a week before I would have missed my period cycle day 22 and that's when it showed up it showed up positive on one of these cheapies and then positive on one of the first response tests the next day. So testing really early was also a sign that my HCG levels were really high and it's because I was carrying too. So the last most definitive way to know if you're having twins is an ultrasound where they can actually see two babies. The thing is some doctor's offices don't do a big ultrasound at eight weeks along. But if they're anything like my doctor's office, they'll bring in a small Doppler ultrasound machine and get a smaller look. It's like this big of a screen and they can just see the baby or the babies. And I went in at eight weeks and the doctor had the specific intention of determining how many there were. And she determined that there was only one. I wanna show you my ultrasound and show you what to look for if you are carrying two and you just feel like you're carrying two and you have a doctor's office that does this kind of an ultrasound where yeah, you can't really see the other one because it's hidden. So um, this is what my ultrasound looked like and you'll see there's like one little blob but then there's a little blob that comes out from underneath two times in this video. It just kind of pops out, goes back. Pops out, and then it goes back. And that was my second baby. They were like this. They were just facing, blocking each other. And so I could only see one and the doctor only saw one. And if the doctor had known that and picked up on that, and if I had known how to read that, that would have been a definitive way to determine I was carrying multiples. But now you know, just in case you have this very kind of an ultrasound and you see something a little bit fishy, you could just say, wait a second, what is that little thing that's you know popping out underneath or from the side? Or I don't know, everyone's gonna be a little different but that could have been a definitive sign for me and it, it wasn't. I had to wait until 12 weeks. Some people that early on, they'll have a Doppler heartbeat read and um, you could be listening for two heartbeats and that's also, it's not definitive, but it could be an indication that you have two. Like just listen to your gut because I've heard a lot of people say, you know, they heard two heartbeats, but they thought it was just an echo from the umbilical cord, or they thought it could have been an echo from my heartbeat, or it could have just been a bunch of other things. Like, um, But you know, if you know, you know, I feel like women have such a strong, powerful, magical intuition when it comes to pregnancy that if you really feel like you are carrying multiples, I didn't, but if you feel like that, you're probably right and be your own advocate, you know, ask them to double check because I go to a really prestigious, wonderful hospital and even a doctor at this high level uh, hospital didn't know there were two. So always, you know, you just ask as many questions as you want because sometimes they might be wrong and most of the time you'll be right. There is one extra bonus symptom that I will mention that happened for me at 16 weeks. I noticed feeling uh, fetal movement earlier than most people do. Uh, it was a really 
there was no question for me at 16 weeks that I was feeling them. And with singletons, you usually have to wait until 18 to 20 weeks to feel them. So if you haven't figured out by 16 weeks how many babies you're having and you feel like you might be having two and you're feeling movement at 16 weeks, could be twins. But I'll leave you with this. Whatever amount of babies you're having, one, two, six, I hope you're healthy and that everything goes smoothly because pregnancy is very scary and a lot of unknown variables can come about with one baby, with two babies or more. And I just hope for you that if you are pregnant, that everything goes really smoothly and that you can just have some peace of mind and enjoy your pregnancy. Right now I'm in a phase of my pregnancy where things are a little bit painful and a little bit worrisome occasionally and uh, you know you just have to realize everything including the number of babies you're having is out of your hands from the moment you conceive even the moment you conceive is out of your hands so just give it up enjoy the process I hope everything goes smoothly for you. And speaking of pain, I'll be back on Friday to review my new favorite product, the Cozy Bump, <laughs> for my back pain, because I've been having really, really terrible back pain. So yes, I'll be back on Friday to review the Cozy Bump for you, for anybody else who's having really severe back pain. I wish you well with whatever you're going through at the moment, that everything goes smoothly. It's gonna be great no matter what. And I will see everybody back here again on Friday.